everybody, this is Julian. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another Planting with Julian. In today's video, before I head to Las Vegas tomorrow, I just wrapped up another Planting with Julian, which was yesterday's video. Check it out if you haven't. I need to plant up a handful of babies that have been living in the greenhouse or alongside the greenhouse to make more room for new babies to go in there. So I want to take care of that before I leave out of town for a week. And then stay tuned next week, I'll pick up more Planting with Julian's when I'm back in town. So let's go ahead and get started. I don't know where I'm going. I definitely have five plants to plant up. And these have been with me for a while and just kind of sitting. So let's go ahead and talk about the two plant babies from Plant Friends. This one is from Tanya and this one is from Jonalyn. I have a mother plant like this in front of my door, but it's not purple from the sun, believe it or not. Maybe the sun is not too strong or direct on the door, but it's okay. And I love getting more plant babies from plant friends even if I have it in my I'm collection. I'm gonna go ahead and just transplant this because I need the room. And there's already roots in here. I think she gave it to me already with roots, but I just didn't plant it up in the original planting video of all the cuttings that she gave me. I'm just gonna take care of that and I'm just gonna use the soil that I already have with the plant. Just gonna put it in here i think it's gonna look perfect it is splitting off in a y which is super cool i look forward to seeing this thrive in the collection and hopefully i can get it nice and grounded in here and wherever i decide to put this plant i'm probably gonna have something help it to stay grounded in here until it's established because it is top heavy and i think this is going to be a good look for it how cool is that so thank you Jonalyn for the plant babies there's a few that is struggling that I got from her but for the most part I want to say 80% of what she gave me is doing really good so that's fun so thank you Jonalyn for the beautiful trailing jade and she was kind enough to also give me extra for my plant friends so it's gonna look pretty in the collection and maybe if I have room I can put it on the succulent shelfie so that's a very fun plant up. Let's go ahead and take out this crocodile aloe. And if I do have more, I gotta look in the front of my home. I would like to maybe gang them up. I don't have much aloes in my collection, but I do have a variegated crocodile aloe that I absolutely love. And I'm gonna see if it fits in this blue planter. Let me just loosen up the root ball here. And she has big mother plants in her yard. That's the cool thing about plant life. Is um, ooh. let's get this worm out. Get out of here, wormy. Okay, every now and then I find worms. Battery died, but I'm back. And Ebby is, I think, randomly at the neighbor's house. She likes going over there, she invites herself, and um, she just likes to hang out at the neighbor's, which is so funny. Okay. I get to see my best friend Diana today and it'll be nice. I haven't seen her in like three weeks. She went home to Romania and spent the winter uh, in France to ski. But she didn't ski but her husband and friends did because she's pregnant with her first baby. She's having a girl so that'll be cute to see later this year. Okay. Do I like you in here? I can say yes. All right, Ebby is back and I got my tool to clean up the plant. Okay, good enough for now. She's ringing the bell for water. She does that. She'll bang on her ceramic bowl when there's no water in there. So I'm gonna put some water in for her and then work on the next plant baby. That looks pretty good. Pretty happy about this. Super cute. All right, and the little munchkin got some water, and I'm back with another plant. So this is my Cressula multicava, and I'm going to literally try to not disturb the root system. For whatever reason, it was living in a terracotta, not doing happy. It was living on my vintage plant stand behind me that swirls, and I don't know what happened, but I'm gonna try again because the plant is nice and full again. And I'm just going to literally just transplant it like this and slip it in here. That is it. Don't want to do too much. 
and get this plant upset. So that was a nice quick rehab for the plant. I, I try to look at the plants every day to see like if I can catch it before it goes really really sad then I can put it in the greenhouse in a nursery planter and then look back back to business ready to showcase itself in the collection okay that makes me really right, happy I have two more plant babies I guess I'm not gonna use terracotta and it's gonna be a big one so let's bring it up by the way here's Abby were you hanging out next door you just invite yourself over you want to say thank you to everybody for watching both channels so looking forward to going back to Las Vegas tomorrow. I'm going to try to put my coral aloe in this blue planter. Let me clean out the leaves from the tree. My poor grandma working hard on this patio. I swear every day is like a new day with this place. The tree's unforgiving. Okay. Whoa! Oh my gosh! Look at the roots! Okay, it wasn't like hard to get out there, but wow, okay, it needed to get out of there. If I can somehow get the roots to fit in this, oh my gosh, look, it needed to get out of there. I'm glad I, I did this for my coral aloe. Okay, whoa, all right. Let's see, will you do okay in this planter? If my grandma was here, she would probably say I'm making a mess right now. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's see, are you willing and able? Okay. This is, this is doable. I'm not mad at that. That actually looks cute. Look at that. Okay. Let's go ahead and use the same soil because it was happy with it. And this will live... And back in the same place in front of the house with the rest of the sun loving babies. I had this coral aloe ooh, almost four years now. Kira and I got it the same time in Las Vegas and it actually looked like a little moon and I named it Luna and I don't know I never I never put it in a nice planter, I don't think so. Maybe at one point it was in a terracotta. Ooh, my hands is super dirty. Yeah, I love my nails. My new nail girl in Vegas is super talented for 21 years old and only doing nails for a year and a half. I might go back to her this trip where I'll just wait for my nails to grow out and then when I'm in Egypt, I'll redo it. That was the plan. All right, I think I wanna sneeze too. Allergies is kicking in with this soil okay coral aloe you have a nice blue planter you look so cute I wish you luck and that looks so good take a look at that I love okay, it we have one more plant that I would like to take care of which is kind of a big deal because it's been sitting in a nursery planter for a while okay I wanted to try to put this in a nice planter my beautiful flatjack and I want to see what the root ball looks like at least and try to put it in a white planter because that's all I have left. I don't have any terracottas. Oh my goodness. So my grandma repotted this and it grew babies on this side. Take a look at it. Do you guys see the babies? There's one, two, two big babies here. Okay, let's get this planter out of the way. I like to clean up as we work. And I want to put it in a white planter that my jades were living in before I took it all out and move it into the restaurant in Las Vegas just because I feel bad it's been producing babies for me and it looks pretty happy I mean the best it can be and if I get a big terracotta planter in the future I'll transplant it into that but for now at least I can put it in a white planter because that's what I have okay without this serving too much of the root system all right here we go let's put some soil in the bottom so this had all those jade cuttings my grandma put in and then they did so well and they ended up getting shifted to the restaurant and that is going 
to Speaking of jade, I got more jade that fell off the tree overnight, so I think I want to stick them into a nursery planter when I'm done with this. Ooh, okay. All right, this is a look I feel like. I mean, yeah, I can work with this. It's fine. Okay. Good enough for now wanted to show it some love and just feel bad it's just been sitting in that nursery planter for a hot minute oh this is heavy all right that looks so good i'll be thinking of this little tiny baby oh my gosh there's like two of them let me turn this plant so you can see. And I'll clean up the planters at the end of the video. If you look here, I don't know, can you guys see it? Look at how cute. There's one here, and then looks like another one over here too. Take a look at that. Little babies, I wanna say it is. It has to be. How cute. Oh, and then another baby that fell off in the process, but I'm just gonna stick it here and see. I didn't even notice that. Okay. Let me look the leaves off here from the tree without damaging or putting prints on it. Okay, I mean, I can, I can look at this when I enter my home. That looks pretty cool. Okay, wow, this is probably gonna be heavy. I wanna bring up the jade cuttings that fell off of my tree last night. So look at this. I'm telling you, every day I get cuttings falling off the tree. And I'm just gonna stick it in this nursery planter. And I wanna bring up the others that calloused over. And I'm just gonna stick them all in because these are calloused over already. And these are just gonna live in my greenhouse. And I'll keep you posted when these root up. I propagate the jade all the time and I like gifting it. I love having it in the restaurants. And it's just so easy to make more babies off of my mother tree. So, this is gonna be fun. I'll go ahead and break this off. Okay, so look at this. Oh my goodness. A whole pot of cuttings. This is gonna live in the greenhouse. And I can easily take different sections from it, but I wanted to just at least share this with you. This is everything that fell off my tree in a matter of a few days since I've been back from Las Vegas. It's like a whole new plant. Hey guys, that is gonna wrap up today's Planting with Julen, dedicating a whole video to some of the plant babies that have been living in and around the greenhouse that needed to be planted up. Again, I'm just using planters that I already have sitting in my collection on the potting bench. And I have some plant babies up here in the front. I have my beautiful trailing jade here, as well as my crocodile aloe for my plant friends, which is super cool. John and my subscriber, my plant friend Tanya as well as my Crescilla Multicobble finally back in a planter and then my Coral Aloe and my Flapjack which looks pretty darn cute. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna put all of these cuttings from the jade tree in the greenhouse. And I look forward to seeing more plant babies getting shifted into the greenhouse. I needed to make some room and I feel good. I love doing these type of videos before I head on out for a whole week. So I hope you found this video inspiring. Let's go ahead and do another plant friend shout out. I love doing these on my Planting with Julian videos. My grandma does the best plant friend shout out. So I look forward to her return. This one is going out to Melissa. She says, you're so happy I found your channel. I'm a new plant enthusiast. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Stay tuned. Back on Monday, you'll see more planting videos. Until then, you can find me Saturday and Sunday on the vlog channel. Let me know down in the comments below if you have any of these plant babies. How do you think I styled them? And do you think that it was their time to be planted up in a planter? I'm gonna change and head out the door to meet Diana and then teach my private clients. Until next time, aloha from Santa Monica, California. Bye.